Ron Thomas wants answers and he wants witnesses. This is the spot where his son Kelly was subdued by police. Police say it was because the 37 year old refused to stop as they approached him. Thomas says it was a beating that killed his mentally ill son. Incensed, he sent this photo of Kelly Thomas in the hospital, a man who was placed immediately on life support and died five days later. There's too many tools for these officers to use. It's not justified in any sense at all. Uh, when you beat somebody to death that badly, my God. Police say they were initially called to investigate a car burglary and that Kelly Thomas matched the suspect's description. Let's go right there, man. This cell phone video shows the July 5th incident from a distance. In the foreground are people who appear to be reacting to the beating and to Thomas's voice. <laughs> Kelly Thomas lived on the streets. His parents admit he was a drug user and was diagnosed as schizophrenic. What they can't comprehend is why he is dead. I'm just really upset that you know, that somebody could actually do this to another human being, you know. He wasn't just a homeless person, he was a human being. He was somebody's son, you know, he was somebody's brother. In his first television interview, Police Chief Michael Sellers says the department is doing its own internal investigation. He would not explain why the officers appeared to use a taser gun multiple times on the video. A taser isn't necessarily always enough to stop somebody. And I don't know the circumstances involving Mr. Thomas. Um, I don't know if there's any uh, drugs involved, and I don't know that a taser was applied at that time, so I did not hear anything in any video that I've seen so far. The chief of police says six officers were involved in this altercation. Two of them were injured, all but one is back on patrol. In Fullerton, Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.